How's everybody doing today? So, um, let me get to the Astro Radiance first. If you haven't picked up any Astro Radiance, you should probably buy a few boxes, in my opinion. I think it's a pretty damn good set. I paid, like I said before, about five cases, $95, $105 a box from, I got some from Paladin Cards, and I got some from uh, Doto Collectibles. Those are where I got my um, five cases of <clears throat> Astro Radiance. So, and here's why um, I think this is gonna be a, 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 one of the better sets. Just stay up there, you guys. So here's, a, here's one of the cases. Anyway, um, I should have just done that instead of moving the boxes. So there's a, um, have you guys seen this Starmie card? That is awesome artwork, look at that. That's from Astral Radiance. I think it's like TG13 or something like that. Anyway. T something 13. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up one of those cards once it gets graded. Somebody will do the grading and I'll just buy it from them, save myself some hassle. So I think that's a really nice card. I've also been picking up a lot of these um, Charizard graded cards. I bought these and I've sold them and doubled my money. I bought 80 boxes of these and I'm gonna buy a lot more before they go out of print. Because um, right now, if you're lucky, you can get them for like $180 a box, but um, I've been selling mine for over $200, and um, you can get a graded Charizard card out of them. I did a video where I opened one of the um, boxes and got an average card. Other people have gotten really great things. Uh, PokerRev got an um, unlimited version of that. I think it was, I forget, I think it was a nine. It wasn't first edition. It's a thousand dollar card out of one of the ones he bought. But keep in mind, all this stuff that is bought that you open up pack wise and box wise, you're paying for the fun factor of opening up something and getting something great for a small amount of money. But if you buy a whole bunch of stuff on average, it's going to all average out. You're going to get junk or nothing of value and, along with something of great value. Anyway, these things here, the, uh, I bought these from, um, the, you know, I'm a distributor for them now. I think this product is so great. Of all the stuff that's Pokemon, I rate this probably number one. Um, because you get a Charizard card. I mean, imagine if you pull that, or like, everybody loves the Shining and the, and the Dark Charizard. That's a um, Japanese version. But anyway, um, these are going to go up in value. If they're selling for... Um, 220 or even more than that right now anywhere from 180 to 220 dollars right now what are they gonna be in two years from now these are gonna be mark my words it's June of 2022 June of 2024 these will be 500 dollars a box and then four years from now June of 2026 these are gonna be a thousand dollars a box why do I say that? It's because they're not gonna be putting more of these um, you know um, first edition Charizards in the newer ones the new ones are going to have cards, you know, right now, Charizard from right now, and other, other cards that are not as expensive. It's going to be too expensive for them to put in a lot of these older cards. And if they did, they'd charge more money, which means a, card, a, a box like this is going to be worth the same, a high price in the future. My whole point is these are going to go up in value a lot. If they're, if they're selling for this much now, what are they going to be in a couple years? So I'm buying all I can of these um, Charizard boxes. I picked up, um, speaking of great artwork, these, um, picked up two of these. These are Japanese. I haven't bought any Japanese stuff in a while. They're Dark Phantasma. Paid $63 each a box for them. Here's what they look like. And the reason why I bought these is, that's, that's a nice Pikachu artwork. The reason why I bought these, these are S10A, is because they're going to have a banned card in them. And here's the card. I got this from uh, Japan. It's really cool artwork. But this girl down on the bottom, even though she's using this pipe to blow on the fire, to stoke the fire to make it burning hotter, people think that they're going to ban this because it looks like she's doing, like somebody could think like she's doing drugs. 
anyway um this is a really cool card so it's in that set and i think the english version is going to be banned so i decided to buy a couple of those you really can't go wrong i bought one of these single cards i'm not a big fan of buying a lot of single cards because they sometimes they don't hold the value but this is awesome artwork i paid um 33 dollars for this i mean basically is the cost of this card is what I paid for it because they had to send it into CGC in a 9.5 that's like you know that's like a, a, a PSA 10 because they hardly CGC and, and um, Beckett hardly give um, hands out the ultra rare so anyway this Umbreon and uh, her in the background I forget what trainer that is this is one of the best Umbreon cards I've ever seen from Brilliant Stars it's a good set, Bruno Star is a good set. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm a fan of that Pokemon, so that's why I bought it. There's some other Umbreons I was looking at, but that, that one, the real expensive one, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to put that much money into it. But 33 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's gonna go up in value. And the highlight of today is some old packs. Check these out. Okay, these are emerald. I got these from France. There's Groudon. That's, these are mint condition out of a box that he had that he opened. It's back from France. So here's the um, Emerald one. Cover. These are these are like pristine condition too. Deoxys. And you know who that is, Quasar. Look at that. It's the whole art set. Isn't that awesome? And I got them for a good deal. I got them outside of eBay from the seller. I paid $196 for each pack. With shipping and, you know, everything. So, it's basically $800. And those are going for more than that on eBay right now. And as you know, old stuff like this is getting scarcer and scarcer because people... They can't control themselves from opening up packs. And it takes a lot of my willpower not to open those up. So, you know, it's like you open up a, a, that box, you're guaranteed to get a graded Charizard card, you know? Um, anyway, that's what I picked up lately. That's my investment uh, advice. Um, right now, I'm buying as many of these as I can. In fact, like this art set here. I mean, these packs are mint condition. There's a little bit of bend on the corner here from just being packaged, but um, let's see here, the Kyogre one. I don't know how they really grade these, you know, as, as far as pack goes at PSA, but they're mint condition packs. I mean, they're really, I mean, it doesn't do it justice unless you see them, see them uh, in person. But um, instead of buying more of those, I'm going to be putting the money into these, you know, because um, everybody wants these. These are really popular right now, and, and if they're popular now, they're going to be popular in the future because somebody that doesn't have a, um, you know, say you pay $200 for one of these, or say even $300, right? You don't know what you're going to get. You know, I, there's some of these cards I don't have. I do not have that card. That top sun card right there. What's that worth? I bet it's worth a bunch of bucks. But it's worth more than a couple hundred bucks. So these are highly popular, and I've bought, like I said, 80 boxes, and pretty soon I'll be I'll be up to 100. And um, I sell one a day and make good profit off of it. And that's what you know I'm about is doing stuff like that. And actually, I'm, I have so much Pokemon sealed product. And Dragon Ball and Magic that um, I'm sort of running out of a little bit of space here so it's good to uh, sell some things as you get it in anyway give me a like give me a subscribe talk to you people later